This bottle was used as a flask to hold liquor, probably whiskey or other spirits. Its decoration includes a bust of Jenny Lind, one of the 19th century's most famous singers. Nicknamed the Swedish Nightingale, she was celebrated for her voice and her repertoire, which ranged from opera to popular songs. She was also noted for her piety and charity, often donating the money she earned for her concerts. In 1850, the American showman P.T. Barnum, the founder of Barnum and Bailey's Circus, invited Lynn to tour the United States. In exchange for an advance of $187,500, a colossal sum at that time, roughly equivalent to $5.6 million in today's currency, she agreed to give 150 concerts across the country. Barnum was a master promoter, and he shared the singer's portrait and her story with nearly every newspaper in the U.S., announcing that she had embarked on an American tour in order to raise money for schools and a children's hospital in Stockholm. In the 1800s, glass factories began producing inexpensive mold form flasks depicting patriotic, political, and cultural figures and events. At least four glass factories produced bottles commemorating Jenny Lynn's visit. This bottle was made at the Whitney Brothers Glasswork, which was incorporated around 1837 and quickly became one of the largest glass manufacturers in New Jersey, staying in business for over 80 years. An image of one of the factory's buildings appears on the back of the bottle. This must have been one of the first bottles produced to mark Lynn's grand tour, because her first name is misspelled. It is missing an N, a mistake that was corrected on bottles produced later. <laughs> 